This is my home. I grew up paddling all of this coast, and it's, I mean, it's just really magical. This, you can see this whole island is just kind of this magical place in general. So I feel super lucky that I get to work on this project. Uh, just get this really, really unique experience of getting to be out on the colony uh, with these birds. You're in this, you know, this boundary environment with these animals that have become almost completely marine in their, uh, in their way of life, but they're still so tied to lands. MPRB has been really on the forefront of doing these really huge ecosystem-wide projects where they take a, an important fishery like pollock or the ground fish fishery in the Gulf and uh, really address that um, one resource from a lot of different angles in you know, all aspects of the ecosystem with the focus on these ground fish. A lot of these species uh, need the near shore environment, so the coastal environment. And so that's usually the nursery habitat for their young and then the young have to make it to the ocean to grow big so that we can harvest them. I'm working with rhinoceros ocelots. Rhinos use the near shore environment to find food for their chicks and for themselves. The same habitat that is um, thought to be this nursery for these ground fish species. A lot of this monitoring work uh, like that the Fish and Wildlife Service does and kind of what this project is investigating uh, a little bit more in depth is to use seabirds in this tight coupling with uh, their food source to have a gauge for how the, how the marine environment is doing. And currently a lot of that is looking at reproductive success, so how successfully they're raising those chicks. We want to know, you know what the birds are bringing back for their chicks. What are the adults eating? Where are the adults going to get this food? And sort of these questions that are gonna enable us to determine kind of a little bit about what is out there and what's available for these small fish. So I spend my nights trapping rhinos, um, either to deploy tags or to retrieve tags. And then one night a week I do adult diet sampling. The chick diet is super easy because Rhinos are a lot like puffins and murres, where they come in with a large load of fish for their chicks. One of the cool things about working on an integrated ecosystem research project is that uh, I'm not just researching in a bubble. Doing this in tandem with things like the shipboard work that's going on, I hear about what's being seen on their surveys. So when the ship was sampling in Sika Sound, they were finding hardly any forage fish. And so this absence of these really key forage fish species says a lot about what my birds are bringing back because there's been a huge absence of those species in the bill loads this summer. It's such a cool window into, into the world and sort of having this this puzzle of trying to figure out what the birds are telling us about this world that we can only see such a small piece of. Almost every night I at least once just think, I'm really lucky.